cookbook and I make each item in this cookbook in the order in which it is in the book. And then we do something fun to celebrate it. And we're gonna buy a grill today. I don't wanna downplay <laughs> this beauty. Hello family and good morning. We are so glad you're here. We are on a mission to change the world by raising happy families and we never know what each day will bring, but we strive to choose happy in every situation because say it with me everybody, the difference between an, an ordeal and an adventure is your attitude. So let's make life an adventure. We are on our way home right That's now. Great. You like, like that, that Ryan? We are on our way home and we have a big day in store. I'm gonna tell you, first of all, well, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna share, should we share a joke, a pun, or a life hack today, or a quote? What should we share today? Huh. Anybody have a good quote or yeah, life hack? I have a good Bible verse right here. Bring it on. <clears throat> Ready? Yep. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me, he is my helper. I look in triumph upon my enemies. Ooh, if that doesn't get you through no rough times, fear. I don't no know. Need to fear when you have God. There you go. Pretty All strong. Right. It's in Psalms. There you go. On the, in this Lenten season, thank you, Father Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. When we went to Walt Disney World in January, I don't know if you guys remember this, but we were given um, some swag bags with some really, really cool stuff in it. And being the Disney nerds that we are, I fell in love with. All of it. And especially it was the 50th anniversary of Disney. And one of the things that they gave us was this delicious Disney, Walt Disney, Walt, delicious Disney, Walt Disney World recipes and stories from the most magical place on earth. So of course I salivated over this whole thing. I have poured through every single page and I got this idea. I'm like, okay, you guys, what if I go through this cookbook and I make each item in this cookbook in the order in which it is in the book. And then we do something fun to celebrate it. So Right? Ryan's all about that, right? We talked about it. I can't wait because I love <laughs> Disney food. And if, oh. if you know, you know. If you know, you know. So, and also I thought, you know, I've been looking sort of for a way to kind of spice up what I'm making for the family food-wise. So I'm going to turn to the first first um, recipe here. First recipe is au gratin potatoes. And this has significance because they were made on the Empress Lily, or they were served on the Empress Lily, which was a boat which was at... Um, well, now is what Disney Springs. Anyway, it's it's a, a recipe that is no longer served because the rest of the restaurant that was it was served at is no longer there. But I'm going to make this, and I was like, okay, if I make these, um, what can go with it? So I'm going to go to the grocery store, get the ingredients for that, and then tell you what's next. So to go with the au gratin potatoes, we decided we would do pork chops, and yes. to cook the pork chops, we want to grill them, but we don't have a grill. We kind of have a grill, if you can remember. We got Mike a grill for his birthday, yeah. like an electric grill, because we live in a like a townhouse house community, and we didn't know if you're allowed to have grills outside. <laughs> so then I bought him for then again for Father's Day or something. I bought I can't remember. I bought him like a charcoal grill, a little beach grill. Maybe that was for his birthday the next year <laughs> and he hasn't used that. So we find out we are allowed to use grills as long as they're in the garage. So we are going to get the ingredients for the potatoes. We already have the pork and we're gonna buy a grill today, which is very, it's a huge, like huge step. Hey, it's another day in which to excel. And today we are excelling by, it's a big day today. We are um, just purchased a gas grill. So back in the day, everybody used to barbecue on uh, charcoal with uh, lighter fluid. I still love the smell of lighter fluid. I just love it. But, um, you know, probably 30 years ago, people started to use gas grills. But now gas grills, like, gas grills, there's some really luxurious, very nice gas grills. So I was just checking them out. There's like $1,200 gas grills, $1,300 gas grills, and... I'm not a foodie. All I'm trying to do is just cook a hamburger once in a while, a steak, and in this case, some pork chops to complement Jill's Disney uh, cooking expose. So uh, I just got the $149 grill. My philosophy on the $149 grill is grills get greasy. I don't feel like cleaning them. So when a $149 grill spends about three years, it's so greasy and so gnarly that um, we just toss it away. <laughs> and buy a brand new one. So instead of buying a $500 or $600 gas grill, I'm sure those are very nice and I'm not knocking people who buy those, but they really enjoy grilling it. Well, I do too, but 
Um, I just can't can't part with 550, 600, 800, 900 thousand dollars in cash growth. So come on along. Uh, it's in the back. I think you can see it there. We got a, a tank of propane. I think we're ready to go. I think Jill's making those potatoes that Disney has the recipe for. So we'll see how it comes out. Golf watching, kitty relaxing, Michael doing big things. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Well, I'm kind of excited. You are? Yes. Do we finally own a grill? Mm -hmm. Oh, can I go look at it? Sure Let's go. Where is it? Did you set it up? We have, we bought three grills. I know. <laughs> it's pretty sad. So exciting. So Step outside of Home Depot and they have all the grills lined up from best to worst. This is all the way at the left. Wow. I don't want to downplay this, this beauty, but we've had about three or four of these and they haven't lasted more than like a year and a half. No, they last, I think you're exaggerating. Yeah, but the, the last like couple of months that we have it, it stinks. Let's just it put it this way. We, <laughs> That's what you wanted. We are not a fancy girl family. Dad's Ryan and, and I guy. might be fancy girl people. Dad's not a fancy uh, girl person. So you know what? As long as it works, I'm okay with it. And you basically end up throwing it away after two years and get another one anyway. And some of our friends laugh at us, but you know what? That's all right. Rightfully so. I laugh at us. <laughs> yeah, I, but I, I learned how to grill on... on on one of these things. And yeah, you're a great, you actually are a great griller. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike, you're a good girl. What happened? Uh -huh. Something bite you? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. All right, let me go get the pork ready. The, 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 it's a Dynaglow 3 burner gas grill. <laughs> okay. It's got 8,000 BTUs, sir. Thank you. I wonder how many BTUs that is per dollar. Oh uh, yeah, well, we could do the math. It's, really it's got, uh, you know, 449 square inches of cooking space. Okay. It's got an integrated okay. ignition. All right, it looks nice. It's pretty, it's black. It has three knobs. Perfect, Michael. It's great. Oh. This is generally what my Sundays look like. Pretty much from, I don't know, January through, when is it end? October? I don't even know. <laughs> I grew up like this, though. I grew up with my dad watching golf on Sundays as well. I'd fall asleep on the couch. Now it's Mike and Ryan. If Brennan were here, he'd be watching too. So I started to make the dinner. What we're having is chocolate. That's Jill's broccoli, which is broccoli sauteed in olive oil and butter and garlic salt. And then this is a buttered quart dish getting ready for our um, au gratin potatoes. These are the pork chops, pork chops. And they are seasoned in this great stuff, you guys. It's so good. It's called dirt. Look, I'm almost done. I need to get more, but it's so good. So I patted those in dirt, and then we're going to have um, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, and then also, wait, I'll show you. I made these in here. These are some biscuits. We're going to have strawberry shortcake with these biscuits. I made these with Bisquick. And then after the golf tournament ends, there goes Ryan. He's got to play a little just to get it out of his blood. Oh. Okay. The first step for the potato recipe is to bake two large baking potatoes for about an hour at 350 in the oven. Take them out, cool them off, put them in the refrigerator, peel them, and then coarsely grate them into a bowl. All right, then I add a tablespoon of minced onion with a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter of a teaspoon of celery seed into a cup of half and half and we're going to boil it on so and mix the grated potato into the boiling concoction Yum. yes we do three tablespoons of shredded cheddar cheese on top of this in the oven 350 degrees for 15 minutes So Mike, our intention as Ryan and I talked through the um, cookbook mm -hmm. is to make each recipe in the Disney cookbook and then do something related. Like for example, 
if they were still serving au gratin potatoes at Disney, we would go taste them there and taste ours and compare. Yeah. Right, Ryan? Which we're going to be able to do that with quite a few of the recipes. Mm-hmm. They are not still serving this, but Ryan said, which is the ultimate compliment. It looks exactly like the picture did. Thank so, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to devour this. This is a recipe I don't think I would have ever made. What's the trick to it? If it weren't for, uh, I think shredding the um, potatoes was yeah. important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, these could be the best potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they, they are. Magnificent. Bon appetit. It's filming, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. Uh, we're on in the night, and what made me happy today was having a chill Sunday and watching the rest of the Honda Classic with Dad. Very good. You guys, thank you so much for watching. It was fun to make that recipe, but listen, this was just the first in the cookbook, and I'm so excited to make more and then go on adventures. And just stay tuned because it's Mm -hmm. going to be really, really fun. Mm -hmm. So comment below what made you guys happy today, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.